Hello and welcome to the Economics Explorer Own 101 channel. In this video, we will talk about how the wealth of a country is measured. The concept of measuring a country's wealth may seem like a complicated subject, but we'll break it down in an easy to understand way. To begin with, it is important to understand that the wealth of a country is not just about the amount of money it has. It is a much broader concept that encompasses the total value of all goods and services produced within a country's borders during a certain period of time. The most widely used measure of a country's wealth is its gross domestic product, or GDEP. ADP is the total value of all goods and services produced within a country in a given year. It includes everything from the food we eat to the cars we drive, the homes we live in, and the services we use. GD is usually measured in two ways, nominal GDP and real GDP. Nominal GDP is the gross figure of GDP without adjusting for inflation, while real GDP is adjusted for inflation to give a more accurate picture of a country's economic growth over time. While GD is a good indicator of a country's overall economic activity, it does have its limitations. For example, GDP does not take into account factors such as income distribution, quality of life, or environmental sustainability. This means that a country with a high GD pay may not necessarily be a great place to live for everyone. Another measure of a country's wealth is its gross national income or NI. NI is similar to DDE, but it also takes into account income a country receives from abroad, such as remittances from citizens living abroad or earnings from foreign investment. Another important factor to consider when measuring a country's wealth is its level of debt. A country with a high debt gap ratio may be considered less wealthy than a country with a lower debt. To DB ratio, since high debt may indicate that the country is living beyond its means and may have trouble paying its debts in the future. In addition to these measures, there are also other factors that can affect a country's wealth, such as its natural resources, technological innovation, political stability, and infrastructure. In conclusion, a country's wealth is measured by several factors, including GDP, NI, debt get ratio, natural resources, technological innovation, political stability, and infrastructure. While GD is the most widely used measure, it is important to consider other factors as well to get a more accurate picture of a country's wealth and overall well being. Thanks for watching the video, and I hope this video helped you understand how the wealth of a country is measured. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below and don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this until next time.